Hello everybody and welcome to Cole's Place. My name's Colin, great to have you along and thanks for tuning in to another video. Okay, so first of all, as always, I'm gonna pan round, it's a bit noisy, I'm gonna pan round and show you exactly where I am today. Okay, I'm here in my hometown of sunny Bournemouth, nice little shot of the cliff lift going up there. I'm on West Cliff, looking out over Pool Bay, towards Pool and the Purbex. Out into sea, loads of ships. It is day two of a Bournemouth Air Festival 2023. We have got aircraft flying at the moment, so apologies if uh, it's a little bit noisy. There's Bournemouth Pier, Isle of Wight in the distance, and uh, over to Christchurch and Hengistry that way. Absolutely stunning day. The weather today, the temperature according to my finger, and the thing on the phone is an amazing 20 degrees, slight onshore breeze, water temperature, while the surf is up, it's about three to four foot in places, water temperature is about 18 degrees. Beach is nice and busy for a Friday afternoon. The town is nice and busy. What a world of difference from the weather yesterday. Yesterday we had rain, overcast skies, no visibility, so there was hardly any flying, just a brief red arrows fly past. Today, as I said, world of difference, absolutely stunning. Great visibility, as you can hear, there are uh, flights going on in the background, not quite sure which uh, aeroplanes these are, I've not had a look at the schedule yet. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk down towards the pier behind me, down to the beach, we're gonna see what's going on, and hopefully uh, get some uh, flight action on there. Uh, on film as well for you so if you're new to the channel don't forget hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already okay share the video and there's a little bell you can hit which will give you a little notification of when i'm putting up a new video okay so uh, as i say bournemouth air show 2023 we're going to go down to the beach and we're going to see what's going on so uh, let's have a look okay so we're walking down uh, west cliff uh, down towards bournemouth pier uh, a little bit noisy there we go there's one i haven't actually looked at the schedule guys i don't know what aircraft these are that are actually flying at the moment on display uh so do forgive me i'll have a look in a minute and let you know so we're going to walk down as you can see the beach in the distance nice and busy the main arena for the displays is between the two piers so you can see where the beach is busy there in the distance they've got the fun fair there's a catering village uh there's live music all sorts going on so uh, what we're going to do we're going to walk down here past the uh, back of the international center and we'll go and take a look at what's happening Red 
Keep your eye on the formation for a dynamic shape change. As red 7 8 and former rollback and change the shape from 8 arrows into Pixman. As the team rolls to left on the right hand side of red 1 close in is red 2. That's why it's better than Rich Walker. Rich is in his first year on the team. A highly competent and experienced pilot who has flown operations on both the Harrier and the Typhoon, as well as being a qualified flying instructor on the Hawk T Mark II. And then at 4 to 5 G, they'll reach a height once again of over 5,500 to 6,000 feet. The aircraft are now slowing down to approximately 110 to 120 miles per hour, which means that the controls are a lot less effective, making the pilot work extremely hard to keep in formation. Conversely, now the aircraft is starting to accelerate through 200 through 300 back to 400 miles per hour as the controls become even more effective which means the pilots are now working the opposite sense controlling a more responsive aircraft they come round to left four the Apollo presents on the left of red one is red three posted in that's flight lieutenant Tom Hansford
There's no point to give the Palace for making a wonderful round of applause for a fantastic pass in the skies over Bournemouth.
Look directly to your front now. You've got Hannah running back in from your front. With red six, seven, eight with the white smoking trail. Red seven, eight, roll goes the comp. As red seven, eight, smoke blue and roll around red six. Once again, get your canvas ready for the Hannah. Four ten, break. I hope you enjoyed that little taste of uh, what's to come over the weekend. Uh, so that is day two of Bournemouth Air Festival 2023. Uh, some footage there, the Red Arrows, first fly past and first display of the weekend. The weather was absolutely bang on for it. 
And then just towards the end there, there was the Battle of Britain Memorial display with the uh, Spitfires and the uh, Hercules bomber. So yeah, some uh, great sights and uh, a great opening, more or less opening day to the festival. So I'll stick the link down below for the uh, Air Festival website. If you're coming to Bournemouth over the weekend, get here early if you want to park. Don't risk getting a parking ticket by parking on the streets. Get yourself a decent space. So I hope you enjoyed it. Listen, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. If you've not subscribed, subscribe because there's loads more coming over the weekend. Tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to attempt to do it live. It depends on the network and you know the noise and everything else because I don't know if you can in the background. There's live music everywhere and uh, it's very, very busy. Today, there are estimated about 150,000 people down here. And as you can see behind me, everybody's leaving in droves. Uh, there is a nighttime display on this evening as well, um, but unfortunately I won't be able to get any footage of that. However, as I say, tomorrow I'm going to try a live and uh, we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching, thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.